Hey guys, it's Natalie and today I'm bringing y'all along with me thrifting with the release of the Barbie movie just around the corner. I figured what better way to celebrate than by going thrifting for Barbie inspired looks. To get some thrift inspo, I pulled Margot's looks from the movie, at least the ones that have been released so far, the looks from the Vogue photo shoot and the outfits from the premiere events. I think this is going to be so fun to thrift for. I just hope we find some pink at the bins today. I found a bin with a ton of pink inside and just immediately started digging to see what all we could find that was in line with the Barbie theme. This floral dress caught my eye. I love the sheer sleeves and tiered details, but ultimately it just didn't feel Barbie enough, so I did put it back to see what else we could find. This halter dress was a newer Abercrombie piece. I felt like it was so nice even through my gloves, but I always check the material tag to confirm, and it was in fact a cotton linen blend. But upon second look, it just felt too pastel for our theme, so I did pass for this occasion. This hot pink tank top was from Zara and definitely fit the Barbie pink bill. I did throw it in my cart, but when I was doing a second look, I put it back because it was just teeny tiny and I knew it would end up being too small for me. That cherry jumpsuit was super cute, but it was in fact for kids, so I did have to pass a little pink crew neck. Just lots and lots and lots of things to look through. This sweater looked like it was covered in Barbie's purses. It was kind of cute, but also really stained, so I just threw it right on back. And then I came across another sweater, the perfect pink color but was struggling to envision how to style a crew neck sweater in a Barbie fashion. One of my best tips for shopping at the Goodwill outlet is to always check the bottom of the bins. I typically do this by rotating the items at the bottom to the top and that's actually how I found this anthropology jumpsuit. It's a beautiful hot pink terry cloth like material. It's by their daily practice line. I actually didn't end up getting this for myself but I did get it for my Poshmark closet, so it'll be listed by the time this video is up. I spotted another bin with lots of pink on top, so of course gravitated over that way to start going through. I spotted this pink and white stripe piece. It is a gorgeous vintage dress that gives serious Barbie vibes. It is missing the waist belt, but I feel like a white leather belt would look so cute paired with it. I did have to pass because it was not quite my size, but it is the exact vibe that I'm going for. So I kept going through this same bin here and found these dough and bee paper bag pants, which are so perfect for a Barbie outfit. They are a little bit pastel, but I feel like with some pops of color, they will be perfect. I'm really excited to style them. I literally picked up and inspected every single pink item that the bin had inside, including this unicorn cape, which I just thought was too funny to not show off. This was a brand new with tags, pink bandage style pencil skirt. I loved this color and I felt like it was so Barbie, but the skirt itself just felt really rigid and kind of uncomfortable, so I did end up putting it back. Back to digging, I was coming across a lot of kids' items given that I was grabbing anything pink, but this was a woman's sleeveless button front blouse and I think it'll be really nice for layering with Barbie and it fit perfectly. I spotted some more pink. This was an entire sari ensemble, the whole matching set. I just set it off to the side. I hope somebody found it. It was absolutely gorgeous. Amidst it, I found a pink and white gingham button up. It was by Brooks Brothers. I of course had to try it on and it fits perfectly. I am so excited to style it. I feel like pink and white is just so Barbie. This brown plaid mini skirt was 100% wool and brand new with tags. I feel like it will be so cute paired with the pink button up. This fluorescent pink cropped crew neck totally caught my eye. It is by Champion. The tag kind of looks vintage, but I'm not quite sure. It says reverse weave. I just am so obsessed with this piece and I think it'll be so fun to style in a Barbie fashion. I'm thinking jazzercise. Pink and silver sequins are so Barbie, but of course this jacket ended up being for kids. Kids. This shiny foil spandex material totally caught my eye. I was hoping it might be a jumpsuit or leotard for styling that jazzercise Barbie outfit, but it was actually just a t-shirt. I found the most gorgeous vintage polka dot dress. 
This piece really reminded me of some of the styles Margot wore in her Vogue photo shoot for the Barbie release, like the polka dot swimsuit and polka dot dress. But at this point, I started to realize it had really severe staining, particularly at the bottom, but all throughout the dress and then again up at the armpits. This piece was so gorgeous. It even had a scalloped neck. Oh, I wanted to see if maybe the stains had a chance of lifting out, but the tied to go pen didn't lift at all. So I knew OxyClean wouldn't be able to do the trick. So unfortunately I had to leave it behind. Then I found two perfect Barbie pink mini dresses. It felt like such a win after leaving the polka dot dress behind. This one has a high tie back neck and ruffle bottom. And this one is a pink mini dress with off the shoulder ruffle sleeves. Both of these dresses are the same size and same brand. I assume they are probably donated by the same person. This vintage dress is absolutely insane. Look at the details on this piece. The collar, button front, bow tie. It even has a continuation of the button loops all along the bottom hemline. I am obsessed with this dress. I know black dresses are not the first thing that come to mind when you think of Barbie outfits, but black dresses were really big in Barbie special occasion attire, and I am really excited to style this beauty in a Barbie way. These two dresses gave serious Malibu Barbie vibes. This one felt like the perfect California sunset wrapped up in a dress, and this one felt like it was fit for the red carpet. It even had rhinestones all over it, but neither gave the Barbie movie aesthetic that we were going for, so I ended up passing on both. I did not know what the heck I was grabbing out of the bin other than the fact it was pink. Then it started coming together. It is a wraparound romper. I really loved this color and style. It felt very Barbie to me, but then I started feeling the fabric and looking a little closer at the seams and it didn't seem like it was well constructed and it is in fact from Shein. So I did decide to pass. I don't usually get Shein even at the bins. This pink, white, and red vintage polka dot scarf seems like it would really come in handy for some Barbie styling. I definitely snagged this piece. I also spotted a pink cowboy hat with a little tiara on it from across the outlet and ran over to it, but it was pretty dingy, so I did leave it behind, but it really reminded me of the Margot Robbie Western outfit. This pink ombre mini bag was adorable and so Barbie, but it did have some fading and discoloration on the bottom as well as on the edges of the bag, so I did have to pass, but I actually ended up having luck in the bag department and found this pink blue and green bag it is very vibrant i feel like this shot captures it a lot better i'm really excited to style that piece it wouldn't be a bin strip without a high school throwback this pink dress is from deb which is where everyone got their homecoming dresses i just vividly remember that and i think that's so funny to find at the bins i came across these butterfly candlestick holders in a houseware bin they were just so cute and barbie like i ended up getting them for my office in total i got just about eight pounds of items i am so excited to go through everything i got and do a try on haul for y'all. I had a blast thrifting for Barbie inspired looks. I was so worried when I was filming the intro that we just weren't going to find anything pink or Barbie-esque, but fortunately we did. I think I really nailed the Barbie aesthetic and I am so excited to share this haul with y'all. The first item is this fluorescent pink cropped champion crew neck. I decided to style this in traditional Barbie athleisure fashion by going a girly colorful route. I paired it with a little mini skirt, colorful socks, as well as this colorful mini bag we thrifted today. I just feel like it fit the whole outfit so well. I got inspo for this look from Margot Robbie's rollerblade Barbie outfit, as well as just traditional Barbie athletic outfits like the tennis outfit and jazzercise outfit. I just love this combo. I am gonna wear this sweatshirt, honestly, all the time to the gym. I don't really know if this tag is vintage or not. It's champion reverse weave. I tried to look it up. I couldn't find anything. It literally doesn't matter. I just think this is so fun and highlighter pink. I'm gonna wear this a ton this summer. Up next, we have the plaid wool mini skirt and pink button front shirt combo. Number one, the skirt just doesn't fit. It's way too tight. Number two, I just cannot unsee 
Gretchen Wieners from Mean Girls. I put this outfit on, I grabbed my little coach bag, was ready to look in the mirror and get like Barbie, chic, business girl, going to a coffee shop vibes. All that I could see was Gretchen Wieners and that was that. So I just gave up on styling this to be Barbie-esque because it is very Mean Girls-esque. This one's a bust. I will say the button front top is really cute. I think this is just a nice closet basic. And the skirt is cute, but more Mean Girls than anything. So it's definitely gonna be going to Buffalo Exchange. The vintage 80s button front bow tie dress. This dress is everything. When I saw it at the bins, I knew I was gonna get it. I knew it felt very Barbie-esque and it was just so elegant, but at first I was thinking, okay, this is Barbie goes to a funeral, like we could, you know, make this fun, put like pink heels with it, a little pink bag, and give it a Barbie vibe that way. But then I thought about the LA premiere outfit that Margot Robbie wore, and it was based off the 60s Barbie dress that was very glam. And I feel like this look nails it. Obviously hers is more glam, but guys, we were shopping at the Goodwill outlet. So remember that, we're improvising. But this paired with the little shoes and the, oh my gosh, the pink little scarf, it gives the vibes. I cannot believe this fits so good and that we found both of these pieces and they just give that aesthetic. It is so cute. I love this look. I have no idea where I'm gonna wear this 80s, probably a prom dress, but I'm gonna wear it somewhere because it is just too great. Also, I sent a picture while I was trying everything on to my friend McKenna and I was like, oh my gosh, look what I found at the Goodwill outlet. She was like, did you wear that there? I was like, no, I did not wear this to the bins, but I guess I could. You know what, screw it, wear what you want anywhere. The vintage Vanity Fair slip dress. I just think this piece is absolutely gorgeous. The details are perfection and I had such a clear vision of how I was gonna style this. So obviously it's a sheer slip dress, but it's so pretty. So I was thinking we would put a slip underneath. I've seen a lot of people do this by the way. Then pair a colorful chunky sweater with it, a colorful bag, colorful socks, and Mary Janes. Now, when I executed this, it just was not quite it. I gotta be honest, I still think that this potential is there, but not like I did. I don't know. I, it's not the worst look ever. Like, obviously, you guys are looking at it. But it's just not what I was envisioning. It's obviously not very Barbie. I think a few things are wrong. I think the cow neck sweater isn't it. I also think the true colorful socks are not right. I think I should have, like, more like a dainty sock. So I've got a few things to work on. But that's all I had in my closet. So... I'm gonna keep this piece to style it later, but that's why I bought it. I, I was really thinking that it would be so cute and Barbie like that, and I still think it will be. It's just on pause. The pink dresses, these are just the perfect Barbie dresses, and I am so glad I got both of them. I almost only got one, and if I only got one, it was gonna be this one because in my mind, I was thinking, why do I need two dresses? They're literally the same brand. They give the same vibe, so I was going to try to go with the one that seemed a little bit more Barbie in my mind. And I was thinking this one because it's a little bit more form-fitting. It has the little ruffle cap sleeves, and it even has boning hair at the top to give it that nice structure. But it does not fit me. It's the same size as this one, but it's way too small. So I'm really glad I didn't just walk away with this one because this dress fits perfectly and is so flattering. I have never had a dress in this particular style with the high neck and tie back and I love it. I also love the little flutter ruffles at the bottom. They add some nice movement to the dress. I think this is just as Barbie-esque, if not more. I just was struggling to envision it because you can't try on at the Goodwill outlet. 
but I'm glad I brought it home with me. I styled it with the strappy pink heels that I got at the Buffalo Exchange dollar sale and a Zara bead bag that I got at the bins back in December. I feel like these pink dresses are not inspired by one exact Barbie moment, just all the pink mini dress moments that have been from every Barbie. Like, that's just so iconic, you know? So these are just fun. I'm, I'm so glad that we found both of them. I was finding so much pink. We got so lucky. The perfect pink paper bag pants. These are also by the brand Doe and B, which is the same brand as the two pink dresses. So I think we really lucked out with someone's pink closet clean out at the bins, but I'm here for it. Anyways, these pants are so chic. I decided to style them with a white corset bodysuit and white heels. And I love this look. It's giving Sunday brunch. But I was also looking in the mirror and I was like, I feel like we could elevate this. I feel like these could be Barbie in corporate America. So I went and grabbed my blazer from my closet to see if it was a look. And it is. These pants with a blazer are a look and they just look like Barbie means business. And I know in the movie, there's a little snippet from the outfit preview of Barbie wearing a blazer. So I think this is a look. I really like this. I will definitely be wearing these all the time. I honestly kind of forgot about paper bag pants and I remembered their look. <laughs> It wouldn't be a Barbie moment without some pink gingham. I know you guys saw me try this shirt on in store and it fits perfectly. So I was so excited to style it. I went down a classic preppy Barbie route by pairing it with a pearl headband, white flares and white heels. And this is such a cute look. However, tucking a shirt in, especially to white pants, is harder than it looks. Like, it's easy to just shove it in, but then every little crumple down under the waistband just shows and it like instantly moves out of place. I don't, I don't know. It Pinterest makes this look, look so easy, but it is not. So if you have any tips on how to execute wearing a button up shirt tucked into pants, please let me know because I tried shoving it in my underwear and steaming it in different ways and it just was not working. But I would love to wear this out. So let me know in the comments below or shoot me a message. The last piece I picked up is this pink daily practice jumpsuit. This brand is sold at Anthropology, and it's a super soft, almost terry cloth like material. I love this. Unfortunately, it is not my size, so I will be listing it on my website as well as in my Poshmark closet if you're interested in it. And that concludes our Barbie thrifting adventures. I had so much fun. I hope you guys did too. I would love to know which outfit or piece was your favorite in the comments below. Please be sure to like this video as well as subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I can't wait to be back here with more thrifty content soon. Bye.